Thank you. Thank you so much for staying tuned. We were just experiencing some technical difficulties there and breaking up the live. But we are back, thankfully, um, with the news updates for this morning. Today is Monday, the 22nd of June, 2020. My name is Jesse Leonce. We are live on NTN from the GIS studios. And as I mentioned, updates, important updates uh, coming to you in just a moment. An update, update on COVID-19 efforts. Also, uh, an advisory from the Ministry of Health and Wellness on maintaining mental health in the COVID-19 environment. Uh, we have coming up this week uh, the Prime Minister to table the appropriation bill for 2020-2021. That's the budget address. And we also will be touching on uh, this uh, Saharan air layer, this plume of Saharan dust that we've been confronted with, uh, bringing us some hazy skies for the past weekend. We do hope those of you who have respiratory uh, problems, prone to respiratory illnesses, uh, were safe and sound during the weekend, stayed indoors uh, despite the celebratory uh, atmosphere of Father's Day. We do hope you are uh, safe and well. Uh, I'm joined in studio by my colleague Carlton Cyril. Uh, good morning, Carlton. I hope uh, the weekend was good for you. The Father's Day celebrations went on safely. Oh, definitely, Jess. I'm not in a motor tube and my P. I'm my Sia. Messi J. Messi Papa. Excellent. Côté nous, Gadi. Et bonjour avec Messi pour vous qui cas suivre. Côté nous, ici à un cent camad là. Ben, Messi côté nous qui va au développement des formations. Là, il nous fait Covid et puis est un lien qui associe et puis bon matin. Nous qui ouais, nous qui touche à sous un chai bagan parmi. Au cas ça va budget qui a continué avec ça qui est point coup à Simenza. Nous qui aussi ouais parler de eh, santé mon ni pour eh, faire assi ou en bon santé spécialement dans temps con uh, covid nous ka touche anti ta kasso za fait la poussière ça qui ka sorti hord um, um, Afrique, ou quand ils savent, mais c'est toutes les bols l'année à bol les ça, nous quand ouais la poussière ça a passé en ces types pays en cas ouais blague, j'ai besoin d'un avertissement pour ça, nous quand toucher un petit accès sur ça et puis pli. Toujours un plaisir avec nous quand dit bonjour pour ces gens nous qui sont sur Facebook, social media, qui suivent nous, et ces gens nous qui écoutent nous à sous radio, nous quand dit bonjour avec tout le monde dans l'autre pays, côté ou pays, qui écoute, qui supporte, toujours un plaisir. Changer ici à ce côté ou quelle information les qui a sorti directement à côté ici posé à l'autre gouvernement et puis l'autre organisation. Merci tellement, nous sommes uh, Carlton Cook, uh, Cyril, ensemble et puis Jesse, qui a maintenant un uh, programme. Nan. Bon matin, ça et puis uh, si maintenant. Thanks, Carlton. I don't know if you, you really got to see the Saharan dust, but it's oh, the yes. worst I've ever seen it. Um, we do mm -hmm. hope individuals, like I mentioned earlier, who are prone to respiratory illnesses uh, were able to keep away from that dust. Um, mm -hmm. Just moving on for the morning, we're going to come back to the uh, Saharan air layer causing low visibility and poor air quality uh, this past weekend. Uh, we're going to come back to that, but just uh, go to an update on the COVID-19 uh, efforts and also maintaining mental health in the COVID-19 environment. Uh, we did get a release from the office of the uh, CMO, the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmont George, uh, speaking on, uh, just giving us an update on test results that have re been received as of June 18th. Hopefully, we get an update uh, soon this week uh, to give us uh, a more up to date. Um, status report uh, but uh, testing results received as of june 18 she has an update on that and the total number of tests conducted also the outcome of that latest batch of tests take a listen testing results received on june 18 2020 indicated 35 negative test results a total of 1484 tests have been carried out to date and the recorded number of confirmed cases remain at 19 18 of those cases have fully recovered. The last positive case was recorded on June 4, 2020, making today the 15th consecutive day that all tests conducted have returned as negative. Okay, also coming from the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar george is uh, ways that we can adapt to the new normal, um, reminding the public on measures to maintain their mental health and to stay healthy. Uh, she did indicate that keeping healthy is extremely important during this time and listed certain measures that we can take uh, to, uh, you know, keep on the right side of, of our minds. Eating a healthy, balanced diet, including fruits and vegetables daily, a regular daily intake of water, regular exercise, the usual suspects. Uh, she went on to speak about uh, the state of our mental health during this COVID-19 uh, reality that we're now faced with. Uh, she did indicate uh, the range of, 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 of um, 
mental issues that persons are prone to at this time of uncertainty, persons not knowing what the future holds, and even at this time, uh, the, the uncertainty that's, that's looming ahead. Take a listen. The mental health impact of COVID-19 has been well documented. It ranges from anxiety, depression, to suicidal ideation. All age groups are affected as life changes have been drastic in many cases. The new reality of working from home, less social contact with family and friends, homeschooling for children, and being unemployed is actually dif a difficult time for most persons. Persons are encouraged to seek help at the National Mental Wellness Center, the 201 helpline, or from trusted family members and friends if needed. We advise that parents monitor and manage children who may be trying to cope as well. Also, persons should try to provide support to family and friends who may not be managing well to the COVID-19 environment. Just before we entered the weekend, we got an update from uh, the Ministry of Health as well, uh, from the desk of the CMO. In keeping with statutory instrument number 63 of 2020, the Office of the Chief Medical Officer approved 882 applications for entry, which were granted for medical reasons, including return to country following surgery, death in families, and the return of students, as well as to provide urgent support needed in country. Uh, 50 applications were approved in March. Uh, 28 uh, approved in April and 450 were approved in May and thus far for the month of uh, for the month of June 354 applications have since been approved uh, the arrival of these individuals is permitted through the written authorization of the chief medical officer uh, the department has also taken steps to facilitate the option of home quarantine we had a lot of persons querying home quarantine how can they apply who do they apply to uh, in situations where individuals have health complications, children uh, are unable to, uh, to function independently and other sensitive situations, the applications uh, for this discretionary accommodation must meet the necessary requirements, including the ex inspection of homes uh, by health officials prior to approval. We did hear from the Chief uh, Environmental Health Officer, Carlton, that mm -hmm. you know the inspection of the home, uh, these measures, these procedures mm -hmm. to uh, approve or deny home uh, quarantining would be very stringent uh, considering previous um, instances where persons were allowed uh, to home quarantine. Uh, however, they did not abide by it when they were not being monitored. Continuing the press release, uh, the, with the tourism sector anticipating the entry of approved commercial flights in the weeks ahead, the Department of Health has been proactively engaging uh, subsectors on the various protocols that should be observed as we endeavor to mitigate any possible spread of COVID-19 into our communities. Uh, we have the assurance from the CMO that their professionals at the ports of entry have undergone the necessary training required and are equipped and prepared to handle incoming and outgoing travelers. Uh, the Department of Health uh, anticipates the complete refurbishment of the respiratory hospital by the end of June 2020, and that will further aid in ongoing efforts to manage the national response to the virus. Again, uh, the Victoria Hospital has been transitioned into a respiratory hospital uh, to uh, take on the, any capacity of COVID-19 cases or suspected COVID-19 cases on island. We have the assurance again from the CMO that as the Department of Health and Wellness uh, responsible uh, for health and wellness is responsible uh, for uh, the, the wellness of the country, no effort shall be spared to ensure that every juncture there, at every juncture there is consultation with all involved and that the established protocols serve as an added layer of protection for all concerned. Uh, so uh, that word there coming from the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar-George, giving us an update on the persons approved so far to return home. And of course, uh, you would have known uh, from the statutory instrument number 63 that it's only the chief medical officer who can approve uh, persons wanting to come into the country at a time when our borders, uh, there were restrictions on our uh, borders. Uh, we continue with this morning's uh, this morning's updates with a news, Parliament news. Uh, we have the Prime Minister uh, scheduled to table the appropriation bill for 2020-2021, uh, the budget address that is, in Parliament on Tuesday, that is tomorrow, June 23rd, 2020, at 4 p.m. Uh, the Prime Minister's address under the theme, New Challenges, New Opportunities, 
to continue to build a stronger St. Lucia together follows the laying of the estimates of expenditure for the financial year in the amount of $1.6 billion uh, Wednesday, 29th April 2020. We were in the House for that delivery. And next Tuesday's, well, this Tuesday's budget address holds extreme importance for St. Lucia as it will set forth uh, the policies and plans for achieving sustainable and inclusive growth uh, development for the medium term, focusing on key sectors and outlining plans for St. Lucia's economic recovery amidst the COVID-19, this pandemic. Uh, the Prime Minister will also speak on achievements with the public and private sector investments, major infrastructure development, re-engineering social services, uh, social safety nets, and youth development. A key component of the Prime Minister's address uh, will be achievements and plans for the health care sector and uh, specific fiscal measures and revenue generation initiatives. Uh, the tabling of the uh, appropriation bill 2020-2021 that is the budget address again scheduled for a Tuesday that is tomorrow the 23rd of June 2020 so we hope you could tune in for that live on NTN Carlton Merci Telma Jesse bon matin quand la coutume nous allons commencer puis on va parler ni pour faire puis Covid on va ça pour date nous j'ai conducté ben CMO officially yo j'ai conducté pour date 1484 tests dernier test nous recevait c'était le 18 juin ça c'était jeudi et qui camouché 35 négatifs tests qui retournaient et puis et pour date il camouché là il vient pour nous à présent euh ou pour assez ben li mo nous nous ni 19 moun qui a testé positif là il vient pour covid 18 ha recouvert et puis nous ni yon qui en bas traitement et qui ka point très bien tout bonnement et puis là il vient pour nous ici à dernière fois nous tenir un moun qui tout fait quoi yo testé positif et puis covid c'était le 4 juin et puis pour date ça ka fait 15 jours nous ni Dret, uh, 15 jours sans personne qui a trouvé qu'on a testé positif. Ça, c'est une bonne nouvelle. En uh, fait, de ça, vous savez, uh, si un mois, j'ai allé pour faire uh, explanation et puis qui a continué à faire avertissement, qui a dit nous, uh, là, il pour nous, comme public, là, il bien important pour mon chaîne qu'on a en santé. Et par les dix chaînes en santé, il a dit, elle est venue pour vous, ou si vous avez fait un bagage con, il dit, mangez bien, faites assurer ces paniques en gros plat, gros manger ou gras manger, mais balancez et puis fruitage, balancez et puis légume, faites assurer ou balancez manger ou gras manger. L'autre bagage là, il a conseil pour il dit, faites assurer ou boire assez glos. Plus passer ces glo, ces sodas, ces bails doigts, juice, etc. Ces bagages ça y a dit, ils vont pour un chai glo tous les jours et puis point exercise ça c'est l'autre bagage qui est bien important. Il parle de ces mouna qui vont nous abattre parmi nous qui n'y ont malade dans l'autre. Expression là est venu pour qui a respiré. Il a dit la fait assis au point médication. Là encore l'autre bagage là il touche un petit accessoire. Il dit pas abuser ou non. En chai dit nous peut-être qu'à quoi c'est manière pour nous soulager quoi nous mais là nous avons un conseil hard si un mois qu'a dit pas abuser ou non il aussi passé avec un petit truc avec parler à sous fumer expressement pour ces monde qui est déjà hani problème là il vient pour qu'à prendre l'inspiration ben inspiration yo il qu'a dû soupler fumer pas bon pièce l'autre bagaille là il touche quand chai dit noir de les ca ca passer ben pas même pour considération c'est là il vient pour nous ca mettre pli à son compte nous ca trois casser comme nous nous qui ca catiler passer passer nous supposer il qu'a dit nous ni pour manager c'est l'habitude ça il dit des ni bagay di se sou santé ou pa fè to bien sou santé ou malade an yon manye ban lot visite dokter ou e ben ale an yon an se klinik lan deja y di yon an se bay la yon ka espye an se an set li si le vini pou sa fè covid lan se le vini pou moun ki ka twa ka se koyo moun ki ka bay koyo telman twa ka se vel distwe nou ka wan chay moun ka ka chile e ka fè pli pase yo si pose et de l'animon qui a cacher le tellement yo ka trois cassé yo ka point ça en peine et de ça c'est un bagage nous ka wè hot tout tout secteur 
Wamun timun eh, mamai ikadi sa se eh, yon bagay ka an wezolta di nou an di dan as an wezolta di nou pa ka idoh o eh, fe eh, bon tan e eh, pi ejan eh, nou manye nou te ka fe avan ikadi tout se e eh, bagay sa ka develope kwa ika eh, mande espresman la vini pou pa wan ikadi eh, pale bay se mamay la se mamay la ou si ka tou fe kwa yon afekte ou adele ki ped eh, travay yon e di an chay moun ka pren se bagay sa an pen e eh, pi la ikadi pa oublie Nous aussi ni place uh, several districts ça c'est uh, uh, centre uh, pour uh, several districts mental ou elle neuf là et eh ben l'autre bagarre de vous a visiter là bon ça crier des zéro yon two one two zero one et ben si on est en famille en famille en gens en monde nous comme ça confiant dedans et de parler et bail ces monde ça tout ça qu'a assisté eh, la CMO a dit officio qu'il continuer bail bail monde information là ni pour faire et puis covid quand ni pour faire et puis covid et que si a et expression à sur facebook et puis et l'autre medium là vini pour social media nous dans chay moun ka mande question di ki sa ki ka fait pour mener cette lycéen um, vie comment ki a vini e, gouvernement si ka assiste et puis là yo ban nou information là vini pour ça département qui ouest responsable c'est département uh, santé et puis e, yo di nou là là vini pour Et mene moun antwe ou ka y sav depitan nou te feme bon nou an chay jafet la ni moun ki antwe ek chonje se moun sa uh, yo ka hen permisyon pou dat nou ka tan apripwe 795 uh, sent lisyen javiwe a uh, sa se moun ki touve kon yo te ay fe an nou di uh, lopwasyon moun ki uh, visa yo expiwe moun ki te ni uh, problem yon manye ban lot fami yo mo an chay se moun sa antwe me an ba instruman uh, limo uh, 63 di uh, 2020 uh, nou kaywe office um, chef medical officer sa se dr belma il ka di uh, nou hawe application a pri pre 882 application le vini pou moun ki te brizen um, let ki te brizen permission le vini pou situation medical uh, an parmi lot bagay moun ki te ni pou ay fè l'opération uh, fami mamay l'école an chay se moun sa di uh, le vini pou se limo nou ka wè 50 application te antwe en uh, mas uh, le i vini pou avri nou e uh, 28 application et puis en mai 450 et puis pour moi ça déjà il eh, a dit eh, la hani 354 application et puis yo ja trouvé ko yo approuvé la changer les vini pour ça ou ni pour une permission hold euh, chef euh, médical officier les vini pour euh, euh, saint lycée euh, ça c'est office euh, docteur Belma a parmi l'autre bagaille euh, euh, yo fait bien clair parce que moun te ka parler à souy c'est euh, les vini pour moun ki vle quarantine la kayo la ni situation la manière côté euh, euh, nou ka tande euh, ça ka trouvé permission pour faire du cadeau la ni ka special ka côté mamay ki brezen euh, traitement spécial la ni moun ki pas ça euh, fait par koyo et puis en chay situation sensible yo ka fait ça la kayo ou ça fait euh, application ça et que ka dou lay vini pou si un mois et puis officier yo ka ba ou direction lay vini pou ou ka quarantine la kayo ou ça fait application ça yon an se bay lan ki bien clair lò fè application yo ka y voye moun hòd departman ki responsable pou santé yo ka y vini examiner et fè assurer ou ni bagay en place pou ou pe fè sa parce que ou ka y sav déjà euh, yo pa vlan situation côté yo permite moun pou ale et puis c'est moun sa pa suiv jid pa suiv protocole et puis yo a sou sa fè yo kon yo ka fò ou sa bien bonè lè ou fè application sa ou ka y sav ou uh, un mon hod un ministre qui responsable pour santé qui est venu et puis il a examiné fait assis au nez tout bagaille en place uh, uh, encore nous rien plus information là ni pour faire puis uh, c'est si avion qui a commencé et venu département j'ai dit il a parlé par tout secteur et puis uh, protocole c'est ça qui est bien important il uh, a demandé pour uh, chaque secteur ça expressement 
c'est mon qui a travaillé secteur et tourisme là et on commande et c'est mon ça pour faire assurer yo suivre les bio même qu'à parler puis c'est mon ça qui a marché main en main pour ces professionnels là yo qui a dit c'est pas c'est mon ça yo j'a fait yo a tout en allant bas entraînement pour faire assurer yo ça ça yo si posé fait les venir pour qu'à manager et puis qu'à venir en contact et puis mon qui a venu et puis qui a quitté pays à département aller puis dit et yo même qu'à continuer faire assurer yo a augmenté manière bagaille là en c'est l'hôpital là avec un bout un mois à juin yo qu'à continuer effort effort ça pour manager expressement les venir pour covid qu'on département bien savent yo qu'à dit yo pas qu'à quitter pièce wash découvert pour faire assurer ça qui n'est pour fait Kai fait yo ka fait consultation et puis tout monde qui est évolué et puis pour faire assurer moun suivre protocole qui a qui déjà établi les y vini pour ça l'autre développement l'autre nouvelle nous ni e ba ou ici a ou ka y sav les y vini pour semaine ça nous ka y mardi et nous ka là en kai concept et puis euh, euh, activité à la qui a commencé à 4 heures et puis euh, ça c'est le budget qui a été trouvé qui a discuté ça c'est budget pour l'année ça l'année prochaine et puis premier ministre qui a délivré le euh, budget ça quoi ou qui a bill appropriation qui a continué mercredi le 24 et ça a commencé à 2 heures jeudi aussi jeudi pour vendredi à Neve. Quand on a trouvé quoi informer, là il vient et pour estimer ça, nous caitons un budget en détail, nous caitons le premier ministre, nous caitons yo qui a parlé à ce budget là, estimer ça comme on dit, il va continuer pour juste vendredi. Trouvé quoi informer, là il vient pour budget, les autorités qui suivent protocole qui j'a établi et puis là il y et ça qui a fait dans le public en bas conseil si et moi yo pa kay permite ou hod public lan pou entre an kay konsit kon ou kay sa ou pe we ou ka ve sa sou television ntn uh, channel 122 et ben a sou page facebook uh, gouvernement centrici et ben a sou uh, youtube ou pe uh, we ek suiv sa ki ka ale kon a touve kon informe bien important ek mwen ka encourager tout moun souple fait un yo manye ben lot pour suivre budget parce que ça c'est affaire moi et pour nous allons continuer ici à à sous en lundi bon matin kaba ou information development qu'on y fait um, Jesse thanks for that uh, we're going to take a break at this point in time when we come back we uh, take a closer look at the saharan air layer that's causing low mm -hmm. visibility and poor air quality we hear from uh, the met office coming on after this break and also uh, the honorable prime minister released a statement yesterday in observance of father's day and we'll just get a snippet of it for all the fathers out there reinforcing the importance of fatherhood especially at this time so stay tuned for that and more coming up in just a moment she's been watching waiting wondering when the sands of time will give way to a tide of change and for yesterday and today to become a new tomorrow. For a time when her son can kiss the cheeks of your loved one and her stars can twinkle in her honeymoon skies. When her earthly embrace will reassure and calm your soul. And her unique view can change your whole perspective. Proudly, she has risen to meet new challenges and to provide safe harbor to all who reach her shores. For her hopes and dreams still stand, shoulder to shoulder, a precious reminder of experiences yet to come. So wherever your moments and memories take you, let her sense of adventure set you free. She is Saint Lucia.
The Saharan air layer causing a low visibility and poor air quality. And many of you who ventured out or just looked out of your window this past weekend would have experienced some hazy skies. And that is due to uh, the large plume of Saharan dust that has made its way across to the Caribbean region. It, uh, we're getting word that it will continue to affect the Caribbean region for the next few days, causing, continuing to cause low visibility, continuing to cause uh, poor air quality at this time. And that word is coming from the St. Lucia Met Services on Monday today. Uh, the Saharan air layer is a mixture of sand and dust from the Sahara Desert. Uh, the dry, dusty uh, air mass forms regularly over the Sahara Desert during late spring, summer, and early fall. High winds blow the dust westward over the tropical Atlantic uh, Ocean intermittently. A NASA satellite first observed the dust plume over the North Atlantic Ocean about June 13th. And by June 18th, that was a Thursday, mm -hmm. going into Friday, the dust from Africa's west coast had extended to the Lesser Antilles. Antilles. Uh, the dust can be hazardous due to low visibility, while dust particles can exacerbate the symptoms of respiratory illnesses and allergies. Alternatively, the dry air results in less tropical storm activity and more colorful sunsets. The dust also helps build beaches and fertilize so soils. And that is according to NASA. Some uh, for your information there. Uh, customarily, winds pick up millions of dust, millions of tons of dust particles from deserts uh, in Africa and blow them across the Atlantic Ocean each year. The plumes are an annual occurrence in most of the windward islands of the Caribbean. Uh, we're hearing from the St. Lucia Met Services that an advisory is now in effect for small craft operators and sea bathers to exercise extreme caution due to brisk winds, rough seas, and low visibility. And to even go back to uh, individuals who are prone to respiratory illnesses, please take care in your going out, you're coming in, the, the amount of air that you let in and out of your house right now, uh, the air is chock full of dust particles coming from the deserts of Africa. Uh, I'll just allow Carlton to just uh, translate for us because this information is very important at this time. Uh, respiratory illnesses across all age groups, you know, our elderly uh, right down to our very uh, young uh, children. So Carlton. Uh, merci et tellement uh, Jesse et puis et là mais c'est yon qui bien important chay de nous eh, qui ka pay attention pour eh, ça qui ka fait au Liban nous ka ils savent eh, si ou eh, bien veillé d'oua expressement eh, bon matin et eh, qu'à présent ou ka yon nous ni en la poussière et puis bon tant ça tous les années nous ka yon eh, la poussière ça mais pour yon et ben l'autre nous ka yon mais c'est à comme si de l'année ça il plie et eh, ben nous ka yon visibilité à tout fait quoi eh, affecté là la poussière ça nous attend à coordonner uh, pour information nous n'est là et c'est yon qui ni et ça be blot la pousse et puis ça qui sorti juste Afrique et puis tous les l'année nous ka wè i ka entre en uh, wison et puis uh, as un résultat des ans vent qui ka vanté ka sorti la soleil uh, couchant nous ka wè en chai la pousse ça ka rivé ici a uh, yon ni satellite qui observé et puis uh, l'année ça yo di il c'est yon qui est go Uh, tout bonnement large pour moi dit il ka couvert en chai eh, ces places là là yo ka dit là il vini pour la mer atlantique là uh, hole nord là uh, yo ka dit il ka couvert en chai c'est puis et eh, commencer eh, depuis bon les 13 les 13 et puis il ka continuer descendre tout les 18 et puis eh, yo ka dit uh, là il vini pour ça nous ka inspirer en chai expressement express nous en façade euh, 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 où ils ont là. Euh, Yo ka dit encore, là, il vient pour un parmi bagay qui ka y touve koy euh, affecté, c'est visibilité, comme on te dit. Mais euh, yon a ce bagay là, ou ka y sav, moun ki ha von wab, et puis moun ki ni problème, là, il vient pour kapren l'espiration, et puis ni problème, et puis respiration yo. Se moun sa, yo ka do, ou ka y we, euh, la poussière sa, si ou, eh, 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 point l'expiration ça eh, il kaiwe ka affecté ces maladies ça ou hanien et puis il kaï commencé eh, trois cas ou quoi yo ka mande souple sou ça wete en dedans sou ça vous doit pas y dor eh, sou ça vous vont no bon ça eh, bon en parmi un autre bagay ou kaï sav les est vini pour eh, 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 vent sec là qui eh, en dedans en chayan ces activités eh, hurricane et puis ces eh, cyclones et puis bagay nou ka wè Uh, nous kaiwe sa ka encourage mais yon an se bay la y pale a, a, a soa se lev ni pou soleil couché nous kaiwe an chai soleil couché ki ka ve bel tout bonnement as a result di la 
poussière à couler le nous kaywe soleil lek manye ka coucher ça a za résultat dit la poussière pas tout bagay ki negatif le vini pou li ou kay sa le vini pou la poussière ça nous ka tan hot scientist le puis le vini pour information ça ka encourager c'est la mer nous ni bord la mer belle sa bord la mer et il ka encourager et puis aussi nous kaywe ka vini confirmer en en chai c'est te a nous ni il ka vini puis en chai en c'est te ça ka bay mieux quand là euh, yoka dit eh, million en ces eh, 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 la poussière ça nous kawe qui ka vini qui ka sorti hod afrique et eh, qui ka vini passer les nous tous les l'année ça ka fait et puis en chai de nous ka trouvé qu'on nous affecté les vini pour ça les vini pour office qui ou est-ce qu'on ça pour euh, euh, tant nous ici a euh, yoja dit euh, yo ka bay avertissement pour ou ki ni ti bateau ka idor moun ki ka ben sou pe yo ka dou pre pokosyon parce que ensemble et puis la poussière ça nou ka wè vent ka vanté et la main ka uh, um, ka mauvais la main mauvais kon a souple pe attention pour ça kon bagay ou supposé si ouvè zio et pe attention expressement ou ki vont no wa même ka espiré v pour la poussière ça ki ka sort hot afrique tous les années bon les ça Thanks for that. As the stakeholders in St. Lucia's economy uh, navigate the changed and challenging environment brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, many are devising a new modes of doing business, and among them is events company uh, St. Lucia. Anissia Antoine has a report on the agency's first board meeting of the year. The events company St. Lucia Board held its first meeting for the year 2020 to discuss multiple matters relating to the organization of events in St. Lucia going forward. The organization was created in 2017 with a mandate to coordinate and execute the production of national events and festivals, including the St. Lucia Summer Festival. The board, which consists of both public and private sector agencies, will be appointed for a period of three years and will be led by the newly appointed chairman, Daniel Belize. This is an opportunity for Event St. Lucia because we have no other events, perhaps until October when we're looking at um, having Creole Heritage Month, um, to sit down and really strategize and plan for next year. Um, this is a, a perfect opportunity for us to look at all our events um, and if I may, you know, look to see whether or not um, we should continue having jazz in May. Um, I'm not saying that we shouldn't, I'm just saying that we should have that discussion. Um, do we change it to a different month? Do we put Roots and Soul in May? Do we have another event, um, another festival? So um, this is an opportunity for us to sit down get familiar with, with us, uh, with ourselves, understand um, the policies coming from central government so that we can then take those policies and drive um, our summer festival. Senator Honorable Fortuna Bell Rose reaffirmed the government's commitment to ensuring the success of events in St. Lucia. Of course, as you know, events in St. Lucia, the government of St. Lucia, when it took office in 2016, um, created this organization called Events in St. Lucia to assist us in the delivery and production of events in St. Lucia. Um, and of course, today the organization has done a tremendous amount of work. Um, we are now in a new environment. Um, we have reviewed our programming. And so we are now awaiting um, a final report from events in Lucia with respect to the programming, you know, for the next three years um, for St. Lucia's, for St. Lucia. Um, the government of St. Lucia is extremely committed to the events calendar and of course keeping our people engaged, providing opportunities through the creative sector and of course building on the orange economy um, for our country and so it was important for us to ensure that we have the right team of persons working you know in that area to ensure that our events continue to grow and flourish in a way that our citizens would be happy and proud um, of the various events that have been put on. The meeting took place at the Ministry of Tourism on Wednesday, June 18, 2020. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. Thanks for that report, Anisia. We also have an update on the road improvement and maintenance program now in phase four. It continues to be rolled out. Contracts were officially signed for the Kako Jiwa Roads con reconstruction project and the Grass Road reconstruction project in Miku North. 
on a Thursday, 18th June. Now, this paves the way for the commencement of physical works on the ground. Works on section on the section of the Mondador to Balata have ended, and now work will commence from Kako to Jiwa all the way to uh, through to Bocage. So, please take note of that uh, infrastructural update on the road improvement and maintenance program in phase four, continuing to be rolled out as part of uh, construction activity here on island. We did hear from the, uh, the Honorable Prime Minister that construction would be one of the shots in the arm to the economy at this time, this COVID-19 reality, not knowing what the future holds for uh, the tourism sector. Uh, so please take note of that update. Uh, we also have uh, some information coming from OECS Day. We know it was celebrated uh, last week, Thursday, 18th of June. And as member states did celebrate, marking the 39th anniversary of the signing of the Treaty of Bastère, uh, there were uh, numerous uh, achievements of the organizations that of the organization that was highlighted, and that includes the OECS Economic Union, uh, the free movement of persons among the re among the member states, and more recently the joint mission in Morocco and the addition of Guadeloupe as an associate member state uh, this year to celebrate uh, OECS. Uh, the Regional Integration Unit released a video series titled In a Minute. It provides citizens of the region with information on the OECS Commission and the institutions of the organization. Let's take a look at the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court video. The ECSC is a regional court serving nine member states and territories in the OECS. The court's headquarters is located in Castries, St. Lucia. The court consists of two levels, the High Court, divisions of which can be found in every state, and the Court of Appeal, which travels to the states to hear appeals. The foundational purpose of the court is to deliver justice in a fair, effective, and importantly, efficient manner. These are the key cornerstones of what the court's main objective is. The ECS's ultimate responsibility is maintaining and preserving the rule of law while ensuring access to justice for all members of the public. Over the past 50 years, the ECSC has and continues to be served by many legal luminaries who have dispensed and continue to dispense justice fairly and impartially and have developed the jurisprudence of the OECS. As Chief Justice of this great supranational institution, I join in wishing each and every citizen and resident of this region a happy OECS Day and that you enjoy the rest of the monthly celebrations as we reflect on the importance of our OECS union to our region and beyond. To learn a bit more, visit our website at www eccourts.org and that was one video of a series uh, titled In a Minute, coming from the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, highlighting uh, the OECS as well as the institutions of the organization as uh, OECS Day was celebrated last week, 18th June, marking the 39th anniversary of the signing of the Treaty of Bastère. Uh, we continue with the news at this time, uh, just to give you an update on the resumption of solid waste collection services. And uh, this was released last week but I think it's important Carlton that we mm -hmm. continue to reiterate it because for, for the benefit of the general uh, public resumption of solid waste collection services coming from the solid waste management authority uh, in the Castries inner area as of today 22nd June 2020 all areas which receive collection on Mondays will receive an additional collection on Fridays all areas that receive collection on Tuesdays will receive an additional collection on on Saturdays and residents and government institutions within the city of Castries that is the central business district will receive collection on Mondays Wednesdays and Saturdays so please take note of that in Labry uh, Park Estate Gaibois Mont Lézard Tetmon they will receive collection on Wednesdays and in Choisel Mont Lacroix uh, will receive collection on Wednesdays uh, the uh, St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority is also aware that residents island-wide have a 
accumulated bulky waste material since the discontinuation of this service. As such, commencing July 2020, the uh, Solid Waste Management Authority will, on a zonal basis, carry out a mass bulk waste uh, removal. Residents will be permitted to exceed the two item per household uh, limit. Residents will be informed of this schedule in due course. So please uh, stand by. You will be hearing word from the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority on when you can put out your bulky waste for collection. Uh, the waste disposal facilities will continue to operate from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mondays to Saturdays and 8 a.m. to 12 noon on holidays and remain closed on Sundays. The authority extended its, its gratitude to the public for exercising patience and complying with the scale down collection schedule. So that word there coming from the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority. Carlton. Uh, merci tellement, Jesse. Et uh, quand nous avons fait comme nous pour uh, venir à bout de programme, nous avons continué à faire des informations. Uh, parmi là, nous avons un choc à moucher l'activité qui était en place là, les vignes et départements qui sont responsables pour qu'il était là, um, office de uh, notre um, sénateur uh, Fortuna Bellrose, uh, là, les vignes pour l'événement. Ce qui est responsable ça et bon ça qui est responsable pour planer parmi l'autre bagaille qu'on uh, jazz festival nous ici à un uh, bagaille qu'on uh, journée créole en parmi l'autre. Yo là nous e wa pour akaban nou euh, date que euh, union directeur neuf euh, Daniel Belizier en parmi bagay di euh, yo trouvé ko yo a pointé et euh, ko kay sa euh, bordlan et puis euh, c'est maintenant qui a sur là kay wété là pour 3 années euh, pour date nous tan hard euh, senator euh, Belrose qui a dit euh, yo bien content ça euh, a fait en parmi un bagay qui euh, a fait les vini pour euh, Covid et situation nou dans les kay bien intéressé pour yo wè qui ça yo kaye présenter yo bord lan ni pour présenter yo et puis e plan yo pour l'autre trois l'année a qu'on a trouvé ko informé à présent bord ça a trouvé ko électé ça c'est e bord events qui responsable pour planer en chaise activité à parmi yo comme on dit e jazz et puis e bagaille kon a journée ko l'an parmi l'autre ka continuer ici a les vini pour e, travail à sous e, ce chemin et puis e, activité ça là nous ni information en kadi elle est venue pour trois um, quatrième uh, phase là le uh, gouvernement est venu pour stimuler l'économie. Nous avons uh, contracté déjà uh, tout ce qui est signé pour chimer Kako Jiwa. Là, il y a fait une construction de uh, projet. Là. Aussi, nous avons uh, venu pour le projet qui est supposé pour un coup en Miku. Nord, euh, jeudi le 18 juin, qui a eu couillé Chimé Zebla de Grass Road uh, Reconstruction. Et puis là, on a aussi commencé à travailler à ce uh, uh, travail qui a fait là. Là, il vient pour une section Chimé Mondidon pour aller à Balata. Ça uh, a fini. Et puis à présent, il a commencé à pour uh, Jiwa pour aller juste bocage quoi tout fait qu'on informer ce travail ça qu'à continuer et puis les vini pour activité pour continuer en micro et que là nous caillons ça aussi en l'autre information nous t'ai mentionné mais nous caillons maintenant pour attention les vini pour zodi et puis organisation qui est responsable pour un massé zodi en cette ici qu'a fait où savent Uh, les vini pour uh, manier bagaité il kay vie et normal a pas dit yo dou commencer li vende ça c'est jodia uh, yo kay tout partout ko yo te ka amasse jodia ka vie a sou même temps yo te ka amasse except yo ka dou accepter place qu'on casse et c'est place là dans casse c'est place là moi quand ils l'ont mené yo yo quand ils disent mon qui te casse sous fait service tous les elle les dit yo quand ils jouent un lot additionnel date 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 ça c'est vendredi qu'on a pas dit lundi c'est type place ça hors en casse et en dedans casse oui même yo quand ils ont été casse service tous les lundi à présent au cas où vendredi aussi l'autre place yo quand parler dit place qui te casse service Madi, le Madi, yon kay commencé hen aussi samedi. Eh, y a le pou di eh, wezidan et puis eh, institution en eh, gouvernement ant eh, kasui, et eh, ben, eh, moun ki ni business en sant eh, kasui, yon kay wè souve eh, zodi, yon kay eh, touve koy en masse lundi, mercredi et puis samedi.
Là, il vient pour la boue, il y a des pâques, c'est des gars en bois, un mon Leonard Tetmon, c'est mon ça, il y a un massé zodou, le Mekwedi, et un soisei, un mon Lacroix, ou il y a un massé zodou. Mekwedi aussi. La yokado, uh, la yvini pou ou uh, un pays ya, yo sav, an chay moun ni, an chay an se uh, vie go fridge stove, se uh, vie um, uh, uh, chèz ek bagay kon han, yo do an tan kovit lan, yo sav moun ni an chay sa. As a resultat di sa, yokai kouman se bay servis sa uh, uh, mwas, mwa poche an, sa se an juye, et puis euh, yo kay fay en uh, commun pa commun ek yo ka do le yo vini tie se se pli gros ordi a ou ni an ka hete a um, avant yo te ka permite pou hete yon mais a présent yo do chaque kay kay permite pou jete de an se bagay sa kon sou ni de fridge de vie e, e, stove e ben de vie go um, 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 chaise yo kay permite pou jete sa yo do wete um, ekon et puis e, sa ki kay fait lan et puis yo kay bay exact dat lan le ou ka fè sa men ou ka kòmanse simen excusez moi mwa pouchen ek yo do la vini pou uh, se dom plan ke ou ka uh, jete zodi yo ka kontinye operasyon yo ka kòmanse 8h bon matin pou 4h apremidi lèdi pou uh, samedi ek uh, yo ka do uh, la vini pou holide ou ka yo ka ouvè 8h pou midi kon a toube ko informe le dimanche yo fèmè yo ka do mesi tellement pou public lan pou pasyen sou ek pou ou ka suiv jid Là, il vient pour manière yotique car un massé zodi. Merci tellement. Thanks for that, Carlton. And we just got a press release coming from Export Saint Lucia on the Stronger Together Music for Life, a concert to help Saint Lucian artists transition post-pandemic. Um, just to read uh, some of the excerpts, some excerpts. On Friday, June 12th, a coalition of Saint Lucian music industry partners and practitioners hosted the benefit concert Stronger Together Music for Life live on Calabash TV in aid of the Saint Lucian artists. Uh, the focus, the concert featured an eclectic blend of vintage and contemporary Saint Lucian performers, which included Invader, K. Mishak, Rashad, etc. Uh, the business community, individuals, and music lovers on Friday night all chipped in to support the affected local music community. And the goal of the project is to establish a fund for the industry as a means of creating uh, greater financial access and independence for uh, musicians. In the coming weeks, the coalition will sign a memorandum of understanding with partners, which is an important step in the formation of the fund. A monetary contributions toward the cause total $6,220 to date. And to move closer to the coalition's target of EC $20,000, the campaign continues with an extended invitation to St. Lucia to support the future by uh, going to www.easyclicktickets.com. So you can go to easyclicktickets.com to support our St. Lucian artists in this uh, COVID-19 situation that we're dealing with. We know many of the artists were, um, their bread and butter was the tourism sector, working in the hotels and so on. So now that had, that has stopped and the, the uncertainty looming ahead, despite all efforts from the government of St. Lucia, uh, they need to find some sort of, um, get some support. Uh, and they're looking for it from uh, the public, the general public, corporate St. Lucia. Uh, however, you can assist with the uh, the musicians here in St. Lucia, this fraternity here on island, we hope you can go to www.easyclicktickets.com. And just to go over the latest updates we've had so far for this morning, uh, we're rounding off for the day, for, for, for this morning. Uh, we had the Saharan earlier causing low visibility and poor air quality, uh, an advisory being put out by the St. Lucia Met Services uh, for small craft operators and sea bathers to exercise a extreme caution due to brisk winds, rough seas, and low visibility. So that word there coming from the St. Lucia uh, Met Services, uh, advising persons to take care as they're going out. A large plume of Saharan dust continues to affect the Caribbean region for the next few days, causing low visibility, poor air quality, uh, and that word there coming from 
the Met services. Also, a status update on COVID-19 efforts. We're hearing from the desk of the CMO results received from 18th June. Uh, 35 tests coming back negative. Uh, 1,484 tests conducted to date in St. Lucia. Uh, we've had a confirmed cases of 19, one still being treated at the respiratory hospital. Uh, the last case was confirmed on 4th June 2020, uh, making it, uh, as of Friday, 13, 15 consecutive days, sorry, uh, that we've had no new cases. Uh, please note, come tomorrow morning, we will be having the appropriation bill being tabled uh, by the Honorable Prime Minister Alan Chastney tomorrow in the House of Assembly. That is the budget address he's presenting. And we do hope you could tune in, to that, tune in for that at 4 p.m. It will be live on NTM, the channel for cable 122. And you can join in the live on YouTube as well as our Facebook page, uh, Government of St. Lucia Facebook and YouTube platforms. Uh, the resumption of solid waste collection services we just read to you earlier. Um, if you're just joining us, you could go back to our live when it's concluded to hear the updates from the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority. So that update there from St. Lucia Solid Waste Collection Services, letting us know that there will be an increase in collection of services. They've adjusted the schedule in light of the relaxed measures in response to COVID nationally. At this point, we have a statement that was released from uh, the Honorable Prime Minister Alan Chastney, and it was released yesterday in observance of Father's Day. Uh, we just took out a few snippets uh, to just to convey uh, the Honorable Prime Minister's sentiments on this occasion, him being a father himself. Take a listen. It's beyond um, words as to how fantastic being a father is, but at the same time, the responsibility of being a father, knowing that that person is going to depend on you for advice, for support and security. Uh, it's an awesome responsibility that we have as, as fathers and, and one that I, I treasure, I take very seriously and I'm hoping all the other fathers out there are doing the same thing. Uh, it's, it's an important part of every kid's life. Uh, one of the things I continue to advocate for is family and you know, we all understand the irreplaceable um, things that mothers do. But fathers also play a, an incredible role because they say uh, that in order to make sure that mother can do what she can do, it's important that the father does what he's supposed to do. Uh, and I know in my household, the boss is my wife and I love her for that and she does an amazing job. But I also appreciate the fact that as a father, there's a role I have to play in terms of de-stressing on my wife. And I'm sure the men out there know exactly what I'm talking about. So to all the fathers out there, continue doing a great job. Don't shrug your responsibility and let's make sure we do this together. Uh, thank you to the Honorable Prime Minister. Wishing everyone, uh, well, all the fathers, a happy Father's Day. Uh, Carlton, I hope you had a good Father's Day. Miguel as well uh, on the mix. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As we close, we want to let you know that at 2 p.m. Uh, this afternoon, uh, there will be a... Uh, we will be going live from the Financial Center for a uh, coverage of the COVID-19 task force meeting. You know, ever so often, uh, the uh, COVID-19 task force, they do meet uh, to give an update on, to give a status update on where things are at COVID-19 related and to find out where we're going from here. We are now in phase four of our response to COVID-19. We, we're going to find out from them, where do we go? Do we proceed forward? Uh, what will be happening? So we'll be hearing from the task force, uh, the COVID-19 task force this afternoon at 2 p.m. We'll be going live on NTN channel 122 on our government of St. Lucia, uh, YouTube and Facebook platforms as well. So we hope you could tune in for that important update. Uh, Jerrine Georges from the Ministry of Tourism will be uh, moderating uh, that meeting. So stay tuned for that and more coming up, more programming coming up on NTN. Thank you so much for watching uh, this morning's program. My name is Jesse Leance on behalf of Carlton Cyril and the rest of the production team. We hope you have an enjoyable day. Goodbye.